Hello, and welcome to the Pest Control Marketing Podcast with your host, me, Hal Coleman, uncensored and unplugged. Pay attention, take lots of notes, because you're going to find out exactly how to get more new customers, more referrals, and grow your business. Hal Coleman has been active in the pest control industry for over 40 years, including owning and operating his own successful pest control business for 18 years. He now devotes his time to helping other PCOs and other WCOs double, triple, and even quadruple their businesses faster than they ever imagined. Be sure to check out his website, pestcontrolmarketer.com. For more information about Hal's coaching program, you can reach him at 770-993-0004 or email him hal at halcoleman.com. Mike Stewart is known as the Internet Audio and Video Guy. Since the birth of the Internet, Mike has been showing small business owners how to get more new customers, increase their sales, and grow their businesses online using audio and video, now with iPhones and Android phones. For more information about Mike's coaching program and his online training courses, visit MikeStewartCoaching.com or email him Mike at InternetAudioGuide.com. Hello, this is Hal Coleman, and welcome to yet another episode of the Pest Control Marketing Podcast. Uh, I'm better known as Mr. Offline, and I'm here with uh, Mike Stewart, who's better known as Mr. Online, and we make a pretty darn good combination, I think, don't we, Mike? Well, you know, we have the same goal. We want success for our friends and our customers and ourselves. We want everybody to be able to take care of their families and, and enjoy life and enjoy what they do. And, uh, uh, you know, my my passion over the years has been music and online. And you have been a, 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 a student and a follower of the response triggers and the neuro marketing uh, uh, um, how the brain and the subconscious work all the way back to the days of Larry Latimer and Elmo. So when yeah. you combine all of those pieces of the puzzle, it is a perfect balance of what needs to happen in today's business um, uh, marketing and, and exposure. And, you know, I hate the word branding, you know. Uh, but, yeah, me too. Me too. But, but, but I, to me, branding. Unless, for, unless, you, unless you have an outrageous brand, and that's what I want to talk about today. I'm going to jump right in there, Mike. Okay. Jump right in there. I want to talk about uh, – outrageous things that you can do that most people uh don't do you know i was i was uh i still remember where i was i went there's a place up in north georgia called barnsley gardens and it's one of these old plantations that's just been fixed up into an exquisite resort type rustic cabin in the woods you know skeet shooting fly fishing uh and and i went to i spoke at a retreat up there for a hospital and uh uh, they had me come up there and I got there early and I don't know why I remember this, but it was because it was many years ago, but I was sitting out front of this place in my, in my vehicle, listening to a Dan Kennedy audio CD. And he was being interviewed by somebody and they said, well, if, if, if somebody was going into business, uh, for themselves and, and they came to you for advice, and you could only give them one piece of advice, and that's it, just one piece of advice, what would it be? And Dan Kennedy said, well, there's no question what it would be. He said, I would tell them to look around at all of their competition in their area and, and look and see how everybody's doing everything and don't do it that way. He said, find a completely different way to do it than all of your competition." And so I really never forgot about that, but I have I have applied it to a lot of things. Now, in my pest control business, I began to apply it. You know, I was, uh, uh, and I'm going to tell another story. I want to talk about one way that you set your part, yourself apart from your competition by being outrageous. Uh, you know, we've all heard it said outrageous marketing uh, gets outrageous results. And one, I w- an example is of being different than your competition in an outrageous way. Probably, oh, I don't know, 12 or 14 years ago, I was, I was at, a, at a conference uh, down on the coast in Georgia, and uh, uh, we had a golf tournament. So I, I was pulled into the country club, and I was, uh, you know, getting my golf bag out of the back of the truck and putting on my golf shoes and getting ready and i see this vehicle coming down the drive way and turning into the parking lot 
and I just it was probably you know 200 yards away when I saw it and it just stopped me in my tracks I mean I, it just froze me when I looked at it this thing looked like a circus coming down the driveway it was one of those little PT cruisers but it was decorated all over with bugs and creatures and rats and and had writing all over it and i just couldn't take my eyes off of it and when it came in the guy actually came around and parked right next to me uh and it was a uh, it was actually uh it was an orkin vehicle had the orkin sign on it. and i said i have never seen an orkin vehicle like that in my life and the guy said no you probably won't either he said this, cause this is mine he said i got a on a franchise here and and, and he said uh this thing is an experiment, and I, I said, well, how's it working for you? And he laughed. He said, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. He said, this thing has paid for itself over and over again. He said, you would never believe how much business this vehicle generates. I said, well, I would, too, because I said, it's outrageous. And uh, so I came home and and redid my pest control vehicles to make them look kind of outrageous. Uh, nothing like his, but mine just had the name of my company on the side and the city and the phone number and a little modern looking uh, abstract, what you might call a space age bug on the side of it. And that was about it. But uh, I began to see examples of outrageous marketing and how it delivers outrageous results. Now, fast forward. Uh, Two nights ago, we went to elementary school. We'd see my grandson. He's in the first grade, and he they had a little singing skit they did. All the first grades, we went to see it. And then we, we took the my daughter, my son-in-law, and my two grandkids out to dinner. And we ate at Five Guys Hamburgers. You ever eaten there, Mike? Oh, love it, love it. What do you notice about that place when you first walk in the door? Well, they got... Great testimonials hanging all over the wall from they all have over the country. Testimonials all the way around, 360. I'm thinking, now this is outrageous. Look at this. But you know what? They're not testimonials from people. They're testimonials from, like, organizations and news centers and radio shows and cable shows. I mean, they're, they're all highly uh, upscale, credible uh the people who are making the testimonials and they're short, you know, they're just one little sentence. I picked up my glass of my, uh, I went and got me a, actually I got me a Bart's root beer to uh, drink with my meal. And I'm sitting there looking at my cup and guess what's on my cup. It's got six testimonials on my cup. And mm -hmm. I'm thinking, look at this. I'm sitting here reading testimonials on my cup. So I took a picture of it and, uh, you come right out of the restroom, and there's a bulletin board on the wall that has about 100 testimonials written on these little col different colored sticky note things. So number one, they have taken the idea of the testimonial and made it completely outrageous. The whole entire inside of that building is full of testimonials. Now, the other thing that's outrageous is one of the other things, you walk in and they got like, the 50 gallon barrel of, of roasted peanuts in little little cups like french fry trays. Mm -hmm. So when you walk in while you're waiting, you go over there and you get free peanuts, you know, all you can eat, and you're shelling them. And what are you doing? You're just dropping them on the floor, you're throwing them on the table, you're doing all the things that you really want to do anyway. It's just make a mess, you know. And they don't care. That's part of the atmosphere. Uh, and uh, they have their cooking oils that they cook with all stacked out in the middle of the floor you're sitting there looking at everything the, the materials that your food is being cooked with now and even even their french fries are outrageous you order a, uh, order a french fries and you need a, a five gallon bucket because they give you a pile of french fries that you know there was uh six of us we got two orders of french fries and between all of us uh I don't think we even ate half of those French fries. And so this outrageous amount of food, uh, the burgers are outrageous. They got meat hanging out of, you know, some of them, the hamburger you get it and you look at it and you see two buns, you lift it up and you see the meat in there. These things have got meat hanging out the sides. I mean, you got to eat some meat before you can actually take a bite of the burger. So the whole experience going into that place is outrageous. Now, 
I've only been in there a couple of times. And so when we left, I was talking about that. And, and Lynn's, my wife said, well, I wonder how they're doing. I wonder how they're doing. I said, I don't know. I said, look it up on the Internet. I said, I'm, look it up on your phone there while we were driving. I said, I bet they're doing great. Well, uh, as compared to one of their competitors, which is Steak and Shake, how long do you think they've been around? Uh, since the 30s, 20 uh, forever, yeah. yeah. And they, they were this year, I think their revenues this year are expected to be like uh, between one and 1.5 billion dollars. Five guys is expected to be between three and five billion dollars. It's the fastest, it said the article she read says the fastest growing food chain restaurant in America right now, just exploding. Uh, so it's an example of how outrageous marketing generates outrageous results. So, uh, you know, just just look at your business. Uh, if you're a if you're a pest control operator, if you're a wildlife control operator, if you're in any business, dog grooming business, find a way to be different than all of your competition. Find a way to be outrageous. Try to give people jaw dropping moments when they see you. You're building or your vehicles or your service technician or your uniforms uh, because it pays off. It just pays off in a big way. It always has and always will, but you have to get outrageous means out of the box. And uh, people just have a hard time coming out of the box because they look around and see what all their competition's doing and they think that's the way to do it. And they they don't they want to do it like everybody else. It's it's almost like I don't remember who said it one time. Almost like marketing incest. They're just doing each other out there. They're copying each other. They're they're trying to compete with each other by doing the same thing each other is doing. And uh, that just goes only so far, you know. And and you really have to begin to compete on price with people when you look just like them and act just like them. So. But if you get really outrageous and people look at you and they say, now there's somebody that's different, and I don't like all these other people, I'm looking for something different, then you're probably going to end up being the company of choice. So there, I, I just wanted to talk about that a minute, and I know you got a lot of stuff to add to it, Mike, and so talk about it and talk about how you're doing online and everything. Well, it, it's, you know, I heard years ago um, – if you want to build a business and have it grow, you know, under promise and over deliver. And if you think about the story of five guys there, you know, they're just over delivering, you know, they, they giving, they're giving you what you want, uh, uh, reasonably priced, huge, uh, uh, portions of French fries, free peanuts, uh, fresh, uh, ingredients out in the open, you know, in other words, you're you're able to see the oil. They have a lot of peanut allergy signage too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 but uh, but you know, fortunately, the whole world is not allergic. Somebody to with peanut allergy wouldn't last five minutes in a Five Guys. No, no. If you got a peanut allergy, it's not the place for you. But but you know, they started in Washington D.C. And, and I mean, and when you think about it, when they started, it's it, it's like we want to build a successful hamburger and french fries milkshake place. And now here's a word from our sponsor. Google Pest Control Marketing. Grow your business like never before. Call 770-993-0004. Did you hear that? That is a jingle. But more than that, it is an audio logo and what I call a marketing earworm. But, you know, that's a bug, that's a worm you want in your local market on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, and podcasts like you're listening to right now. Yes, you should do a podcast as a PCO, but we'll talk about that another time. You want your market singing Google your name, what you do, and your phone number. Simple, but it works. If you want to cash in on this marketing bonanza, go to PestControlMarketingJingles.com to learn more. Or just call me, Mike Stewart, at 770-826-3662. Or call Hal Coleman at 770-993-0004. And we would love to show you how to do what we call search and call advertising with earworms. And oh yeah, it works on that old-timey technology of radio and television. Why don't you call us today and learn more? Google Pest Control. 
marketing. Grow your business like never before. Call 770-993-0004. And if you think about it, it's like, are you nuts? Look at the competition. You got Burger King, McDonald's, Steak and Shake, uh, Wendy's, Hardee's. I mean, you got all these established there's no market share for you, you know? Well, they just said, well, what can we do different? They don't build standalone units. They go into existing shopping centers. So they don't have the construction socks. They're leasing, you know, I mean, they just they just did things differently. Um, yep. uh, you know, they made an experience that um, um, was just out of the box different. And, you know, their product, they over-delivered. They make, you know, I agree, it's one of the best hamburgers out there. You know, and you, you think, how can you improve a hamburger? Well, you know, the other people are figuring out how to give you less meat, um, uh, you know, save on condiments. I mean, I remember when they used to leave the ketchup out at, at fast food places. Now you have to ask for packages of ketchup. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, uh, that's getting comfortable with their market share. Now they're, now they're trying to make the ruse. You know, uh do, you know, Five Guys is one of the only places that have malted vinegar for French fries. Yeah, you know? and and you know something else they do? They got these soft drink machines. It's probably got twenty choices on there. Well, I tell you, a lot I mean, of places. I, Coke came up with that new computerized touchscreen uh, yeah. dispenser, and you're finding more and more fast food places because they pro- probably the Coke. I'd love to know the sales pitch on that. Uh, I guarantee you that machine ain't cheap. But, no, it's not. But you know what? It's a cool machine, and uh, and just like there, I'm sure there's some of their market share comes there just because of that machine. Because well, the, ki- the kids love it because they can make what my kids used to make suicides, which was a little yeah. thing, a little bit of everything. But the point I was getting across is is that that having you know that technology of of you know a soft drink, all you can drink soft drinks, the peen. I mean, everything they're doing, and and they they keep the size of the place consistent um you know in other words they they don't have it so big they can't serve everybody quickly yeah and and so those are you know how how do, what's this got to do with pest control or online marketing if what you don't have well oh. i'm just i'm i'm, I I'm saying a, no i'm saying a rhetorical question here i'm saying i'm going to answer it. it what it has to do with you they had to sit around a table and say we got a lot of competition. How can we be outrageous and out uh, in completely different? You know, the, the the consistent product is hamburgers and fries. What can we do? Well, everybody else uses frozen fries. We're going to take fresh potatoes and cut them with a slicer. You know, yeah. th- that's and, extra- you know, and, and and they also they just sell burgers and and hot dogs. No, they don't yeah. sell turkey and ham sandwiches and all kind of chicken burgers and ostrich burgers and. Oh, it just, they're, they're uh, they didn't get it. They didn't hit. get into the breast, breakfast market. You know, a lot of one, one of the solutions at other fast food places is to get into the breakfast market. That means that now they're baking biscuits and cooking eggs and making pancakes and having to stock syrup. And you know, they've kept their their system outrageous, simple, and unique. And you know, and they probably had to work really, really hard to build a following and fans. And you build a following and fans with with marketing. Uh, I'm sure they have an app. Uh, I'll bet you anything they've got an app to where you could probably order on your phone before you get there. You know, they're they're doing everything technology-wise to be completely unique. So not being open to outrageous and unique different, do Just do things. You, you Like, Dan, go all the way back to what you said, Dan. Look what your competition is doing and do other things that you know customers are going to like. Yeah, you, you remember the time I bought that? 16 and a half foot long 160 pound live burmese python snake and put it under my cousin's house yes i remember and then i i called all the news stations and local tv and told them that there was this giant snake under this house and i was going to go get it out from under there and they all showed up and i got on the six o'clock news and i got a full page almost right up in the atlanta journal constitution and the the lady the writer from the newspaper said uh she finally asked the question. She said, how do you suppose that snake got under there? And I said, I put it under there. She said, why would you put it that snake? I said, well, have you ever heard of big snakes getting up under houses like this and somebody's got to go get them out? She said, oh, yeah. I said, I just wanted you all to see what has happened. 
see what people have to go through to get something like this out from under a house. So next time you'll have an appreciation of it. She thought that was cool, you know. And and uh, then they mentioned my pest control company. And so people talked about that thing and laughed about that for several years. Well, and, uh, you know, was- but it's just something totally outrageous, out of the box. And uh, and we had we bought the snake for three hundred dollars and we had a guy show up when we got it out from under the house that we'd called and he he bought it for four hundred dollars. So we made a hundred dollars on the snake, too. (laughs) Well, there you go. There you go. That was the that was the cheapest advertising PR you ever did in your life. Oh, yeah, it was. But who would, you know, uh, just got to find a way to make give people a jaw-dropping moment you know i guarantee you they dropped their jaws when they saw three of us dragging a 16-foot snake out from under under this house but anyway so outrageous marketing uh yields outrageous results don't be afraid to do something wild and crazy and get out there and 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 make people talk about you whether it's your vehicle or your conversations or your uniforms or or, or whatever, or what you gave them for their money can make their jaw drop by you o- o- massively over delivering. So find a way to be outrageous, and uh, and it will pay off big time. So what do you think, Mike? Well, I got an outrageous idea. Are you going to yeah. work? You're going. Are you going to work in your business, or are you going to work on your business? I'm going to tell you the best way to work on your business. Call 770-993-0004 and talk to Hal Coleman for a full hour, absolutely free. That's outrageous, Hal, that you would take an hour of your time with anybody. All we're asking you to do is dial the number, and you're going to get something worth hundreds of dollars that could make a huge difference in your business by having a one-on-one talk with Hal. And I'll do the same thing at 770-826-3662. 770-826-3662. I love looking at people's websites. I love telling you things that you need to be aware of. I want to show you how to be outrageous with your online presence. You know, do you have an outrageous YouTube channel? Are you making, uh, are you posting videos and Instagram videos? Are you using your phone uh, with fun and creative ways? Are you getting your market to remember your SERP terms? These are all outrageous things. Are you posting QR codes to secret videos? It's so simple. It's so cheap. It's, some of it's even free to do if you'll just be outrageous and creative. So we want to help you be, be outrageous and, uh, and uh, outrageous marketing offline and online. And all it takes is one phone call. Do it today. Do it today. And with that, Mike, uh, I got to get out of here. I got work I got to go do. Well, all right. Well, You go do your work, and I'll see you on the next episode of the Pest Control Marketing Podcast. Thanks for listening to the Pest Control Marketing Podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast in iTunes and on your phones and in Stitcher on your Android. But more importantly, go to our website, pestcontrolmarketingpodcast.com. Subscribe to our email list to always be notified of new episodes. You're never going to want to miss what we've got coming up next, and you never know what we're going to be able to do to help you with your pest control marketing.